Well, you are looking at the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. Gold Cup 2000 getting set to get underway. We start with Group B action. The United States taking on Haiti. And welcome in, everybody. Get set for great Gold Cup 2000 action. Glenn Davis alongside Allen Hopkins. And we are getting set for a quality matchup here between the U.S. For the United States, it looks as though Bruce Arena, Allen will go with a 3-5-2. Some mainstays up front in Kobe Jones and Eric Winalda. Well, Kobe Jones and Winalda, two of the veterans. Winalda, this is his ninth straight start in this Gold Cup. So he's got an impressive streak. He's been there. Will he continue to be the goal scorer that he has been in his previous playing days? Of course, behind them, Jovan Karofsky will play sort of in the hole in front of Claudio Reyna and Chris Armas. Well, for Haiti, a little bit unknown. We do know, though, that they played a match recently against Servette of Switzerland. They got a 1-0 victory in that one. They qualified via a tournament in L.A. along with Canada. They line up at a 4-4-2. Amanda Watch, though, in the back, the Usma. The Usma and Cesar will be the flank defenders, them along with Chavaye, number 11, and Athias, the 15. They're going to have to control those flanks for Haiti to have a chance. And one note to mention is Mr. Johnny Descalonis. He scored the three goals that got him in his tournament. He's on the substitute bench, so look for him possibly to come on as a substitute. Referee in charge, Olgar Mejia. So a wonderful night here for the Haitian community of Miami as you take one more look at the U.S. lineup. Group A. Action will be following this with Colombia and Jamaica, and of course Honduras also in that. Tough group there, that one considered maybe the toughest. Group B, we go on, the United States and Haiti matching up today. Of course, Peru also involved in this, an invited participant who the U.S. will meet this week. Group C, Guatemala, Trinidad and Tobago, everybody excited about Dwight York coming back, and of course, the perennial champions of Gold Cup and really the favorites by far, Mexico. Mexico has been one of the strongest teams that won three of the previous competitions. Group D, Costa Rica. Canada got in via playoff in Los Angeles. And of course, Korea, who is sharing the World Cup coming up with Japan. They an invited guest as well. well. South Korea beginning to make their world tour to kind of get everyone hyped about the World Cup 2002. Should be very interesting. Japan and South Korea be interesting how they pull it off in Asia. Well, Bruce Arena has done a wonderful job of enlarging this pool of the United States national program really at a level that it's never been at as far as the depth in this national program. And there is the man himself, the winning track record. UVA, D.C. United won the Inter-America Cup with D.C. United and certainly has instilled a spirit and confidence back in the U.S. after a disastrous 98 World Cup in France. Well, the things that the players like about Bruce Arena is his honesty and his commitment to giving everyone a fair chance. And I think you'll see an inverse relationship. You'll see some of these young players raise their game looking for a spot on the national team. And this is just so exciting. I'm looking forward to this Gold Cup. Well, a big night in Miami. Tremendous number of Haitians coming in from all over the country. So one of the things the U.S. certainly will have to be up against tonight is feeling like the visitors in the Orange Bowl. Well, that's been one of the stories leading up to this Gold Cup is why is the U.S. always hosting these tournaments but have always been left with that feeling of being away from home. And that's one of the things that certainly comes up every time that there's a chance to play Mexico in L.A. Well, the Gold Cup has been growing, certainly in prestige. This is the fifth Gold Cup. Mexico has dominated it by any event. And it really is for the champion of the Confederation of North Central America and the Caribbean. Tremendous number of European base players coming back for all the participants in this tournament. Of course, all the teams getting ready for World Cup qualifying. It is game on from Miami in the Orange Bowl. Haiti in the United States. Haiti, of course, in the red, white, and blue, the United States in white. Lay down on the right side now. Ben Olsen driving this one into the box early. Look for early pressure by the United States. Karofsky now. The Aaron Cross goes behind. 
Haiti will get the goal kick here in the first minute. See the U.S. right away making the Haitians play defense. U.S. on the attack here, opportunity. It was Kobe Jones knifing through a huge hole in the Haitian defense. And you can hear the roar of this crowd. First ball into the box, Friedel there, standing strong. That's a way to come US out. Player down. Set the tone. You have to command your box when you're a goalkeeper. Unfortunately, sometimes there is some friendly fire. Take a look at it here. C.J. Brown coming back to defend. Running smack dab into Friedel. He absorbed the blunt part of that challenge. And of course, on the U.S. bench, Carlos Giamosa. And Greg Vanny, who had a great game in Chile. As possible replacements if Brown can't continue. Hopefully he'll be okay. Take one look at it. Got his head kind of swiped on the side, broadside of Friedel. And you know his focus was on the cross there. And it looks like they may stabilize him. Certainly Bruce Arena not happy with the events that have occurred here early on. I think he might have whistled for a change as well. Well, C.J. Brown smiling, so that certainly is a good sign. Now they're signaling maybe that They'll hold off just a moment. Eddie Pope also on the bench for the U.S. Sub has not been made, so the U.S. essentially playing with 10 now here in the third minute. Eddie Lewis now on the throw for the U.S. Good look at Jeff Agus. Got an incredible run with the U.S. This is Robin Frazier. Chris Armas now. Claudio Reyna. Agus. Eric Winalda now. And the crowd warring there with the strong tackle in the back. By Darte Guave. 31 year old from Violet. Again, most of these Haitian players domestically play in Haiti. Not a lot known about them, so it sort of is a bit of an unknown factor here for the United States. And because of that, the almost got to kind of play it straight to the best, not take too many chances. Haiti is an up and coming team in the Caribbean. The last few results have been kind of feasting on the weaker opposition there. Sebastian Borbe there, number seven, a quality player also for Violet in the domestic league of Haiti, 24-year-old. It looks like C.J. Brown has re-entered and is okay after that collision with Brad Frieder. Here's Jeff Agus now. Kobe Jones now. And cleared by the Haitian defense. That's the second straight time Agus has been able to play that ball the outside. Well, actually, his right foot down that line right there behind the defense. It was Pierre Bruni who broke that one up for Haiti. U.S. in possession. Armas now switching it on the right side. Ben Olsen. Karofsky. And U.S. will get the free kick. Jovan Karofsky taking down a man without a club right now by number 14 from Haiti, Wilfred Montias. Well, Karofsky's long been a favorite of Bruce Arena. Take a look at the replay here. Hounded a little push in the back from Montias. 
Eddie Lewis now on the free kick. We're in the sixth minute. Post left footed shot there, nothing on that one. And that one came from CJ Brown. Well, I like that ball that Eddie Lewis played in right on that back post. That's a tough spot for goalkeepers to get that ball when it's right about that perpendicular angle where the six yard box and the inline meets. Winalda. And that cross deflected away. The United States will get the first corner of this one. This is truly a U.S. team that is representative of Major League Soccer. Only three foreigners brought into the squad. For three European or foreign base players, Claudio Reyna, Jovan Karofsky, and Brad Frieda. Eddie Lewis now will take this corner. Ball in that one headed out firmly by the Haitian defense. Vegas stepping up. And the offside flag up. Haiti does a good job of getting out that time out. Very nice job of the back line pushing up, but an interesting ball that Vegas played back in over the top. Looked like he kind of hit it real quick with both feet. Eddie Lewis standing in offside position. Well, Allen for Haiti to survive in this one. And the U.S. certainly wants to impose their, their game on Haiti here early. Well, for the game continuity, the U.S. does well when they get a couple chances string together. They also have to have that finishing touch. We were talking earlier, someone needs to step up and be the goal scorer on this team. Who will it be? If you look at it for Haley, they got to control the U.S. flanks. That means Kobe Jones and Eddie Lewis and company. And also, Agus coming back. Out of the back on the left side. And also, if they get a chance, Nick, an early scoring opportunity to steal some of the momentum away from the U.S. because they're clearly the better side on paper. Well, this undoubtedly is a match the United States should not lose. And it is a game of pride for the nation of Haiti. Their president in attendance, Rene Preval, has come from Haiti to be here at the Orange Bowl in support of the nation's national team. C.J. Brown now released on the right side. Well, Haiti certainly looking to play the counter-attack game here tonight. And that little flick on there ignites the crowd. But it doesn't lead to enough for Haiti. The U.S. doing a good job of staying composed. They kept their shape defensively. They got plenty of depth from that back line. Haiti broke for a moment, but it was in the midfield, not too dangerous of an area to be. Chris Armas. Of course, had the first U.S. goal down in Chile. The United States eventually won on the road. A quality victory there again. Not get enough publicity in the United States for my liking, but a huge win there. Kobe Jones getting the game winner in that one. Talk about Chris Armas in that game against Iran, played in Pasadena, the Rose Bowl. He almost had the game winner right after he scored the equalizer. So certainly he's been getting himself tucked in, kind of hidden in that attack. High kick there from Eddie Lewis. And that one coming on number 17 for Haiti. Lean, I believe. And that was I was alluding to the Haitians kind of breaking up the flow of this game. The U.S. have to wrestle that away. Uh, the opening minutes of this one have to be very important for Haiti to gain a little confidence. They seem to be doing that right now as it switched on the right side now. Eddie Lewis now for the U.S. Calmly puts his foot on it. That's the thing to do here. Armas looking on the left side. Kobe Jones. And unfortunately, Kobe Jones can't bring that one down to the booze of the Haitian crowd here in the Orange Bowl. 
Well, Toby Jones, his first touch led him down there, and you can hear how loud the crowd gets every single time they even rush into the U.S. part of the field. Of course, Haiti is coached by Emmanuel Sanan, who obviously is very familiar with the United States soccer, having played here in a variety of leagues and also on the 74 World Cup team for Haiti. Aimless ball into the penalty area. The United States gets control. Nice job of defensive positioning. Everyone was tight. Stayed even with the play. Very nice job. Kobe Jones is detached wide on the left now. And that one driven into nobody. Eric Linalda had gotten into the interior of the Haitian defense. Haiti will get the goal kick. Actually, Haiti Lifetime has the lead in the series with the United States. All time. Have not met for quite a while. This is Eddie Lewis now. And Gabriel showing a lot of pace and fortitude on the right side against Eddie Lewis. And that's that wide matchup you talked about, Alan. And I tell you what, A. Lewis has drawn a tough card tonight. Gabriel is very physical and fast. He's actually preventing Eddie Lewis from getting into the attack. I think he's a little bit concerned. But nice job of Eddie Lewis it's early in the game, kind of feeling his way still. Claudio Reyna. Glasgow Rangers now. Finding Jones. Jones is brought down. The U.S. gets a free kick. On the right side now. Jarofsky. C.J. Brown now joining in. That's the one Four part bank. about C.J. Brown's game he needs to improve on is the distribution from the back. Put a couple bad balls the last time the attack was going on his side. Jones from Reyna. And again, very compact in the back for Haiti. That will be the question the U.S. has to answer tonight, how to solve a very compact defense. Very organized and disciplined. Everyone knows their role back there. This is one way, the diagonal ball. Winalda. Still Winalda. And poke tackled away. This is Gabriel now. A bit of pace here on the left side. And Robin Frazier doing a nice cut. Actually, C.J. Brown coming lateral there to break that play up. Well, you see why Bruce Arena likes him in that lineup. The pace to stay with Gabriel as he was racing down that flank. Stayed with him. Good job by the Haitians, though, to force something basically that came out of nothing. Well, you know, a country, really a third world nation that really doesn't get a lot of positive publicity certainly is looking to enhance and change its image today. It is about positiveness today for Haiti. Gabriel on the corner. No problem for Brad Friedel. Said it right. That was very easy for him. Oh, nice job. A couple chances he's had. Take a look at Brad Friedel, 30 years of age. Friedel right now not getting a regular game at Liverpool, so certainly these are important matches for him to be playing in Agus now. Mason Keller remains in Europe. Tony Miola tonight, the backup from the Kansas City Wizards. Gabriel now on the right side for Vorbeck. And Robin Frazier, quality play there to come out of the middle to provide the cover. The type of little things that you want from a veteran central defender like that. Coming over, reading the play as the attack was going down the wing. We talk about Brad Friedel. He's got to play in 75% of these A matches to keep his work permit. So these are indeed important matches for him. Well, the 
Haitians took this tournament very seriously, went to a training camp in Sao Paulo, Brazil, with their head man, Emmanuel Sanan. Played Servette of Switzerland January 29th, got a 1 0 victory in that one. Ben Olsen, the MVP of MLS Cup 99. But the first time you called his name, hadn't got that many touches in the way of the attack. And a late foul here trying to disrupt the rhythm of Jovan Karofsky. Seventeen is Roosevelt Desir of Haiti. U.S. again. And Haiti right now doing a nice job of getting pressure on the ball and providing cover. The question is, can they do it for 90 minutes? You know, it's tough to defend when you have not that much attack. And interesting enough. The U.S. hasn't been particularly dangerous. They just had a little bit more of the ball. The Haitians seem to be bending and weathering that storm, but I wonder how long they'll be able to keep it up. Ball there, and that one deflects in. And the United States will go up 1-0. Well, against the compact events, one thing you want is the early goal. The Haitians right there, we just talked about it. The U.S., super quick corner, and look at the ball played by Eddie Lewis on the money, unmarked in the six-yard box. Is Jovan Karofsky, who gets on top of it, heading it down. Reyna, his ball starts, and Eddie Lewis is the middleman, and Karofsky finishes it off. A well-taken goal by the U.S. Reyna to Lewis. A money ball from him, and the U.S. get on the board first. Well, the last three U.S. goals have all involved Eddie Lewis. As he sets up Jovan Karofsky, powering in from behind. A 1-0 lead for the U.S. here in the 19th minute. He's really starting to play well. I didn't think he had one of his better matches against Iran, but certainly has come on in Chile, and that was... A great ball, and that's why Bruce Arena likes him on that left side. He had the left foot one, and then the ability to, and the skill to hit a ball like that. Headed back calmly by Robin Frazier. This is Jeff Agus on the left side. <laughs> Armas Arena, and those two have really formed a nice partnership in midfield. This is Armas now. Kobe Jones. Brown and Haiti in control. Gabriel. Garcia here, the right back in a clash with Eric Winalda. And Haiti will get the free kick. This is where the U.S. needs to improve a little bit, is building the ball out of the back. That's the one thing they don't have that much of is the way of attack from their defenders. Vegas can push up and certainly hit some quality services. C.J. Brown is still growing in that area. Fortunately enough, their flank players like Lewis make up for that. Long direct ball. This one will go to Frida. Well, in 91, the first ever Gold Cup was won by the United States. It went to penalties in front of 40,000, the U.S. over Honduras. And ever since then, 
It has been Mexico dominating the Gold Cup. You said it right. The U.S. looking to climb that mountain again in the Gold Cup, but Mexico has stamped themselves as this tournament's champion the last three times. Maybe this is the year they break out. Leo Reina now on the left side to Eddie Lewis. Lewis getting the assist. Karofsky, if you've just joined us. See a lot of Claudio Reina coming back to get the ball off his defense. That's what I like to see. I like to see him get his touches. Brazier trying to find Eric Linalda. This is where Haiti has to stick together a little bit. They surrendered that goal after kind of holding their own. Now they need to stay together and stay disciplined. And Vorb will be called for the foul on Jeff Agus. There's the head man, Emmanuel Sanon. Of course, he is assisted by Jean Baptiste, who also played a number of years in the United States in Fort Lauderdale, the ASL, and the NASL. And of course, the USL with the Fort Lauderdale Sun. Right side now, Gabriel. And the U.S. with a tight line back there. The offside flag is up. And the irony, we're talking about U.S. being visitors. That goal took the crowd out of this match. Haiti, not as loud as they were before. The Haitian supporters take a look at the offsides. Gabriel kind of wound up just too much. The back line of the U.S. doing a good job of Reading the play, stepped up nicely. Well, the U.S. looking for their ninth victory under Bruce Arena. They've had some monumental ones, including wins over Germany and Argentina. But I'll tell you what, one of the best-kept secrets was their efforts down in Mexico, specifically in Guadalajara, in the Confederations Cup last year, where they came in third place. One of the most unreported sporting events in this country last year, bar none. Absolutely. U.S. still pressuring very high now. And one of the things to continue that point, I was talking to Jeff Agus right when he got back and he couldn't believe that there was no coverage at all and it was one of the greatest results the U.S. team ever accomplished together. Some of the best soccer they've played in their entire lives and many people didn't get a chance to read and hear about it. Well, unfortunately, the sports media in America, when it comes to soccer internationally, are illiterate. Eddie Lewis. Kobe Jones looking for Winalda. That one, Eric. That time, it was a little too flat, that attack. They were able to step up. The Haitians were to cause the offsides. There's Didier Menard, the goalkeeper, 28 years of age. Plays for his club team, aptly called USA in Haiti, in the Haitian Domestic League. It's pretty much been all the US here on the ball. One of the things that Bruce Arena really wanted to see was the U.S. forwards be a little bit more dangerous. Haven't really seen that from Ronaldo. Gabriel now with time and space. With Borb on his right. Good recovery by the U.S. defense. This is Borb now. Leonard will gather that one in. Well, some of the biggest wins for the United States have come in this Gold Cup. Of course, in 99, the huge, in 98, the huge upset of Brazil, the one nothing victory there, led by Preki. Armas. Win all the now. 
Eddie Lewis bending that one in, and that cross goes out of bounds. Haiti will get the goal kick here in the 26th minute. That is one of the deficiencies in the U.S. attack. You take a look at Eddie Lewis, the UCLA product. It's the crossing and the services is not always there. And Bruce Arena would like to see a little bit more continuity, consistency in their ability to swing balls in. Winalda brought down. And Claudia Arena standing over this one along with Jeff Agus. Not that many white jerseys in the area. Let's see what happens. Tempted diving header there. Coming from Ben Olsen at the back post. That was some run. He had to come a long way. He laid out for it. Couldn't quite latch onto the end of it. And a bad ball from Claudio. See the replay. Sliding inside the last moment was Olsen. Doing a good job of giving it the effort. Well, this is Haiti now trying to get something going. And again intercepted. Kobe Jones now looking for Karofsky, but that broken up nicely. Got to do a better job of holding the ball. It seemed just a little bit too rushed still on the attack. Pressure coming from the United States. Gabriel has drifted inside now. Right side. Vorb. And Haiti getting a little confidence with their ball possession to the delight of the crowd. That's some pretty good quality there shown from Haiti. Their best period of extended possession. Absolutely got the crowd back in it. And you saw they switched it from side to side very nicely. Didn't bypass anyone. Almost played the nice through ball. It's a little too long, but that by far the best Haitian attack we've seen. Reyna. To Winalda now, Jeff Agus. Gabriel hounding him. Nice Frazier job of to CJ Brown. Nice job of resetting right there. Getting organized. Kobe Jones slips a nice ball through to Ben Olsen. And that one headed away by the Haitian defense. A saving play there. Coming from number 13. Pierre Bruni. Olsen looking for the return on the give and go. That one clear. Nice job by C.J. Brown. Keeping the ball in that half. Well, Bruce Arena. And again, Haiti breaks this up. Reyna now. Right-footed shot there. A dangerous one. That one just goes wide. But DJ Menard after Claudio Reyna gathering a little confidence now in midfield. Still would like to see him raise his leadership level one more notch. Take a look at him here. Having a go from deep. Didn't miss by much. Actually, it was Chris Armis on the shot. Sneaking into the attack once again. Well, and another good way to pull out a compact defense is to not be hesitant from long range. Jones now to Karofsky. Karofsky looking for Winaldo. Winaldo almost looking not aware there that he was going to get that ball off Karofsky. He just seems like a half step too slow at that play. It kind of opened up. He was really flat-footed when the ball came to him. Sign he wasn't really prepared to receive it. And a 
again Haiti looking to try and find Chevalier in behind the U.S. defense. Reyna Olsen. Right it in by Olsen. Back post there. And Eddie Lewis had come in diagonally trying to get on the end of his counterpart, Ben Olsen's ball. Robin Frazier will leg this one down. C.J. Brown to Ben Olsen. Brown on the overlapping run now. Olsen's ball picked off by Haiti. That's the first time we've seen C.J. Brown make that overlapping run. Doing a good job of getting goal side to break up that attack by Haiti. Linalda looking for the return. Gabriel now. And Haiti with some rare time and space in midfield. Here, trying to find Gabrielle at a bad ball. And Chris Armas now. Maybe done better to switch that ball instead of coming back to where the space the ball came from. Marvin Fraser, outstanding job of stepping in again, reading the play, staying tight. Matisse on the throw. Gorofsky to Armas now. No, we gotta move it. We gotta move it. Over. August now switching it on the right side to CJ Brown. Well, certainly, Allen, the U.S. has got to look to try and get goal number two here in the first half. They've let Haiti kind of wrestle some of the game away from him. Haiti breaking out now. Marceline. And Jeff Agus breaks that one up as Eddie Lewis now breaks out. That was too complex of a ball. Tried to play that in. And obviously, a foul has been called. I was wondering what had happened Mahias. right there. Maybe a handball. Thirty-fourth minute. Looks like a pretty big wall for the U.S. Elismo Gabriel on the ball for Haiti. U.S. forming at least a six-man wall here. Everybody back to defend. And the ball actually favors the U.S. because it's right in the middle of the field. Tough place. Have to be a really precise ball to beat Friedel from there. Ball driven into the wall, that one deflects away. Reyna on the throw. Ben Olsen. He comes off not one of his better matches against Chile. The good thing for him is he's getting a chance to continue to play and develop and have those rough moments. But obviously, Bruce Arena has confidence in him. C.J. Brown now goes all the way back to Brad Friedel. Jeff August now getting pushed a bit by Greg Vanny at the left back position after Vanny having a quality performance against Chile in the 2-1 victory. 
Garofsky. The U.S. waiting for him to really come over the top with consistent performances. Well, this is some good work here from the United States. Winalda. After some good inner combination play there by the United States. Claudio Reyna started that attack with a brilliant little heel ball. Winalda pressing a little bit too much. I get the sense he's not letting the game come to him enough. That time kind of lost it at the end. Look at the foul right there. Robin Frazier whistled for the foul right in the middle of the pitch. Haiti in possession here in the 37th minute. He joined us late. The U.S. went up. Royovan Karofsky header off the Eddie Lewis assist. I'm sure that goal does a lot for his confidence. Yes, sir. Long diagonal ball. That one hung up there and won by Ben Olsen. Ben Olsen did a good job that time of giving the proper depth. It's pinched in just enough. And a good spot to head that one away to stop that attack. Elusma on the throw. CJ just running that man off the ball. Haiti now with some time and space. Left footed shot. That one hit with a lot of power, but way off the mark. Not a bad idea. Haven't really got anything going. Rooney, the man coming forward from a deep position there to let go with the left foot. Frazier giving chase. He senses the pressure. Has a go from deep. I'm afraid to unleash it. That one off the mark, but certainly for a moment. The Haitian crowd got into it. Well, anything that looks remotely dangerous, the Haitian <laughs> crowd gets into it. Absolutely certainly right. It is a great night for the people of the country of Haiti. It would be even greater and set off madness if somehow they could upset the United States. Yes, here. And immediately. Trying to get back behind the ball is Haiti. Kobe Jones now. Ronaldo's having a tough go of things. Another giveaway. Gabriel to Desir. Still Gabriel. And there's a bad ball in the back. Ronaldo can't win it for the U.S. And Chevalier switches it on the left side now for Haiti. The last 10 to 15 minutes, Haiti has been able to go back and forth. Kind of wrestle away some of the ebb and flow from the U.S. But really nothing too productive in offensive third for them as yet. Borowski comes out of that one. Actually, it was Rain of them looking for Borowski, but Haiti intercepts right now. It's a bit more open now. And Haiti finding some space. Well, Celine creeping up on the left side. Long ball lofted in. Zorb. Well done. And Gore runs into a brick wall in Jeff Vegas. Well done. I think the whistle is blown. And that challenge comes right in front of the U.S. bench. Gore is still down for Haiti. I think he might have earned himself a little free kick here. A little nothing there. I didn't really see it unless it was Eddie Lewis late around that backside. Not quite sure. What Olgar Mejia saw there, it certainly couldn't have come from Jeff Vegas. That's all about good defending there. Absolutely. He stood his ground, did a good job. Good physical, professional challenge. It doesn't work out. A good opportunity for Haiti here. Gabriel on the ball. This sets up a very dangerous situation here in the 41st minute.
Flipped into the box. That's a good ball and completely unmarked right there. My oh my. For Haiti. That was a golden opportunity. His death seer. And that's what I was talking about. The scoring chances is by far the best one. Look at him there. Slides in behind. Looks like Karaski. Everyone's pointing and looking, asking who's that man. Gabriel with a great ball. And Friedel upset. Everyone kind of standing and ball watching. U.S. fortunate not to give up the goal. No doubt about it. Some slack marking by the United States here. This game could be level at one. After Haiti, he had to finish that chance to Sear. Gabriel. Aegis falling down now. Trouble here. This is Vorb. And his first touch becomes his last one as Eddie Lewis comes to the rescue for the United States. Excellent recovery run. That is just hard work and will. You see Jeff Agus, a DC United defender. Got kind of wrong-footed right there. He was stepping inside with the play. The ball got played in behind him. Perfect ball. He lost his footing. Deluspa will take the corner for Haiti here now. Pressuring in the final minutes of the first half. Short one. Gabriel left foot a shot. That one deflected the U.S. clears. Reina now to Eric Winalda. To Jones. And Jones hammered. He somehow gets himself into that mess near the near touchline gets out of it yellow card issue Matias number 14 I believe will get the yellow card this is all about Kobe Jones and electrifying pace watch that he just touches it with his toe escapes the blunt of the challenge see if the U.S. could get a really big goal here as the half time almost nears Claudio Reda on the ball as the U.S. loading up the box Curling in towards the back post. The U.S. gets up, but that one headed out by Talusma. Jones' is right footed shot. That one way off the mark. Well, Kobe, a little ambitious there. That's a tough ball to get back going to the goal. Is bouncing back toward him. T.S. right there, the 28-year-old, the man who picked up for the yellow card. The first one of this match against Kobe Jones. Flex to the feet of Eric Ronaldo. That ball was lucky to split that triangle of U.S. defenders. <laughs> 80 here, dangerous. Trip by his own man, right footed shot. And Brad Friedel, fortunate in that he is positionally sound. But I believe possibly a free kick has been given. Judging by Friedel's reaction, I believe that is the case. But watch this. I believe it's two Haitian players that get tied up. Absolutely. And let's see if it... I'm not, I'm not even sure what happened there. Montias calling the free kick, I think, here because two Haitian players collide. And C.J. Brown, you saw him sliding in right there. He's well away from the player. A crazy break for the Haitians. Both players running into the same space. Somehow, they get gifted this opportunity. Same spot as the last free kick they had. Gabriel lifts that one up, and that one goes wide. And I'll tell you what, it is seeming like the United States on the road here, even more in the Orange Bowl. That was absolutely... Watch it here, over the wall. That one curling away at the last minute. Frito looked confident. Gabriel again. Well, Michelle Gabriel certainly has made a presence here and is making a name for himself tonight against the United States. Well, they've won the last 20 minutes of this half. You really kind of dissect it. Miami Fusion officials, are you paying attention? I'm sure a few Haitians would show up. 
to Lockhart Stadium to support his play. We've lost sound. Right side now. C.J. Brown joining in. Well, you have to be honest here. It seems as though Alan Haiti has been a bit disruptive in making life uncomfortable a bit for the United States here in the final minutes. And the U.S. has let him take the tempo. Where the U.S. gets into trouble is when their leadership players don't elevate their play to kind of hold the ship and we can't be too dramatic. They are still the fairly comfortable 1-0 lead. Certainly Haiti looked dangerous on the set pieces and dead ball situations only. Reina, this is Jeff Agus now. Trying to hit the corner flag and find Kobe Jones. That one runs out of bounds. We've had over five minutes of injury time. Over seven now. And there's a Colombian fan getting set for the nightcap here in the Orange Bowl, which will be Colombia and Jamaica. And that halftime whistle has blown. Olga Mejias has had enough here in the first half. The U.S. has the lead. Thanks to Jovan Karofsky, they have the 1-0 lead over Haiti here in the Orange Bowl. We are back with more after this.